Thank you for having me at your beautiful country. This is my fourth time being in Norway in less than two years. So obviously Mama Norway is welcoming me back over and over again. And if I'm lucky, I'll come back again in March and April. So today we're gonna do the fifth dimensional quantum healing. Since uh, this is only a 45 minute lecture time, it's not a workshop. So the time is uh, very little, and uh, when originally they gave me the schedule of the three lectures that I have, I realized they're 45 minutes each. And I was like, what am I going to do in 45 minutes to convey the message and uh, transmit? Um, and I was just kind of sitting for an answer, and the answer came, which always comes from universe, that instead of me talking blah 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 about fifth dimension and fifth dimensional <coughs> quantum healing, um, which I love to talk about it, is why don't I just demonstrate and show you the space. And so I want to ask you this before I start is, would you like me to demonstrate or would you like me to talk about it? Demonstrate it. Yeah, okay. So I won't blah, blah, blah. Then we're going to create this space. This space that we're going to get into, it's already present. It's already here, right now. And it's within your own self. A place, a space that is already here within your own self. What does that mean? It means that you're already in it, it's in you, you're swimming in it. It's a place of your own self. It's not something that I have, that I'm giving to you. It's not something that I'm going to create out of ether. Fifth dimension is not a place that you have to get to. It's a place it's already here. It's a frequency. So when we raise our vibrations, which everything is energy, when we re raise our vibrations, then you change your frequency. And you can just go to different frequencies. For example, let's say you're watching a lot of news and they're talking about terrorism and this and that and a new virus and blah, 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 blah. So you go into the fear, fear place. And then the more you're afraid, your vibrations change. You're vibrating in a lower frequency. Now I'm not saying, when I say lower or higher, I'm not saying that something's better than the other. I'm not talking about good or bad. I'm just talking about just levels. So in order to explain it, in words, everything needs to be explained in a certain way, which the opposite is also true. So don't get caught up into the words. I'm just <coughs> explaining the concept. So, but when you're just thinking about good stuff, or when you love yourself, or you love someone, or you're at the presence of a teacher, or if you uh, fall in love with someone, or something very beautiful happens, or you have a great experience, and you're in this space, then your vibrations change. And you're vibrating in a different frequency. So you can be in different frequencies. You can go up and down. So this place, which already exists and it's here, and it comes from your own self, it's within your own self. What you're really looking for, it's within your own self. It's a frequency that exists right now, and it's here, so we have to tap into it. 
the access code. What's the access code to raise our vibrations to go into this other frequency? It's just like if you have a TV or a radio and you just change the radio to a different station. But you don't know how to turn on this radio or you don't know how to change the channel. For example, uh, recently I'm staying, I have an apartment, um, subletting, and there's a TV monitor with three different uh, remotes. And I haven't had a TV for years, and I just cannot turn on this TV. I can turn it on, I don't know how to change the channels. So, you know, for an hour I'm just going back and forth and I can't figure it out and I was really frustrated so I let it go because I don't know how to, you know, in the past the TV monitors were so easy. Nowadays you need a college degree to figure out how to do it, you know, or you have a new phone or whatever, you know, it's so sophisticated or you're driving one of these new fancy cars, I don't even know how to use it, you know, I prefer, <laughs> I'm a little bit older so I'm old school. You gotta give me something easy when it comes to technology. It's a no-brainer. Okay, press this and press that and it's done. So it's the same thing with our own selves and the space. The space is here. It's within your own self. So we just have to find the access code to tap into it. And this place that I'm sharing this with you it's a unified field of intelligence, a field which is infinite, already present, right here, right now. Right here, right now. You don't have to do anything for it. You don't have to go anywhere for it. It doesn't require you to do anything. So your mind is going like, oh no, I'm not good enough, I'm not worthy enough. I didn't go to India and sit with these gurus, or I didn't sit with these shamans. I haven't done the work, so I can't do it. I'm not worthy. The place is already inside your own self. You don't need to do anything. It's like the story of two fish. They're both in the ocean. And one tells to his buddy, he says, I heard about this great ocean. Do you know where is it? I need to get to it. <laughs> they want to find the ocean. The divine, God, whether, you know, the word God is getting old-fashioned. Now we're in new age, so we like to use universe. It's another fancy name of the same thing. Because when we say God, you know, we're relating to a man with a beard up there with a stick. And, you know, he's waiting for you to do something wrong, to kick your butt. <laughs> God, divine presence. It's already inside yourself. It's in your own heart right here. All you have to do is just stop for a moment. Just stop for a moment. And be quiet. Can you stop for a moment and be quiet in your life? Just for one moment, simply. Just stop. Whatever you're doing, your phone, your computer, tele the TV, children, the news, blah, 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 the books, spiritual books, blah, 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 blah. Fifth dimension, this, that, Atlantis, the past, my past lives, ooh, my God, my future, I'm so concerned. <laughs> this place is right inside yourself and here. All you have to do is stop and the access code is would you like to know the access code? How many people like to know the access code? That's it? Not all of you? I'm not going to give it to you. Sorry. <laughs> if all of you, if you don't want all of, yeah? Access code, yes or no? Yeah? Okay. All right. Silence. Silence takes you into stillness. When you're silent, 
and you go into a still place. It's very still, it's not moving. It's like this. Check this out, just for one moment, let's see what happens. Immediately you go into this still place. Can you move this person? You can move this guy, but can you move this? You can't, because it's still. Can you move this column? Right now inside yourself there is a column of stillness. It doesn't move. It's within your own self. But our attention is on things that move, not on what is not moving. So our attention is on our thinking mind. Our thinking mind, thoughts come and go, come and go, come and go. We're thinking, we're paying attention to our feelings. They come and go, come and go. I don't feel, I feel anxiety, I'm sad, I'm angry, blah, 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 blah. 